Have you ever heard your ankle pop or crack? Did you ever twist or sprain your ankle and just let it heal, only to have pain months later when you started walking or climbing and didn't know why? If so, you may have experienced an ankle sprain that didn't heal properly. This video is here to help you. An ankle sprain happens when one or more ligaments in the ankles are stretched or torn, which can cause pain and swelling. Welcome to our channel, where we provide expert and free advice on how to deal various health-related topics. Today, let's review what you need to know about ankle sprains. Ankle sprains are one of the most common injuries that can happen to anyone, and they can be both painful and inconvenient. Ligaments are tough, fibrous bands that connect bones to one another, and when they are stretched too far, they can be damaged. There are different grades of ankle sprains, ranging from mild to severe. A mild ankle sprain is when the ligaments are stretched but not torn. A severe ankle sprain involves a complete tear of the ligaments. Today, we'll be talking about the best ways to treat an ankle sprain and how to speed up the healing process so you don't get those annoying pops and cracks six months later. The best way to treat an ankle sprain is to remember the acronym R-I-C-E, which stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. RICE for short. Rest is the first and most important step in treating your ankle sprain. Resting the ankle means avoiding any activities that could put weight or stress on the injured ankle. This may mean using crutches or a brace to help you walk while you're recovering. I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to use a cane or a crutch, but it's important to give those injured ligaments the short-term relief needed to heal effectively for long-term results. Ice is the second step in treating an ankle sprain. Applying ice to the affected area can help reduce swelling and pain. You can use a bag of frozen vegetables, cold pack, or a bag of ice wrapped in a towel. And here's a pro tip. If you're using a bag of ice, put a small amount of rubbing alcohol in the bag to keep it from freezing solid when you use it again. If you want to see a video on this, please make sure to leave a comment. So apply the ice for 15 to 20 minutes at a time, several times a day, for at least the first seven days. Compression is the third step in treating an ankle sprain. Make sure to wrap the ankle in an elastic bandage, not too tight, or a compression sleeve if it's not too painful to get on, and this is going to help reduce the swelling and provide support. Be sure not to wrap the ankle too tight because this can cut off the blood flow to the area. And at night, this is also even more important. Elevation is the final step in treating your ankle sprain. Elevating the ankle by placing a pillow or cushion under the foot is the first step. This can also help reduce swelling by keeping the ankle above the level of the heart. If you have to work at a desk all day, make sure you place your ankle on a chair or an ottoman so it's not in the down position. In addition to following the RICE method, you may also want to try physical therapy to help strengthen the muscles and ligaments around the ankle. After three to six weeks from the initial injury, your therapist may recommend exercises like stretching, balancing, resistance training to help you heal from your injury and to get those ligaments functioning properly. Let's go over the most common exercises you can do in the comfort of your home for most ankle sprains. Remember, as a general rule, if you feel pain, stop what you're doing and listen to your body. All pain is no gain, and some pain means stop what you're doing when it comes to therapy. First, ankle pumps. This exercise involves flexing and extending your foot at the ankle joint. Sit in a chair with your feet flat on the ground and your back straight, then slowly point your toes down and up towards your body. Repeat this movement 10 times on the affected side. Then you have ankle circles. In this exercise, rotate your ankle in a circular motion to improve mobility and flexibility. Sit on a chair with your feet flat on the ground, with your back straight, slowly rotate your ankle in a circular motion 10 times in one direction and then 10 times in the opposite direction of the affected side then you have standing heel raises this exercise strengthens your calf muscles stand straight with your feet hip width apart raise your heels off the ground and come up onto your toes hold this position for a few seconds and then lower your heels back down repeat this exercise 10 times 
on the affected side or on both sides. Balance pad heel raises. This exercise is similar to standing heel raises, but it's performed on an unstable surface like a balance pad. The unstable surface challenges your balance and strengthens the smaller stabilizing muscles in your ankle. Stand on a balance pad with your feet hip width apart, raise your heels off the ground, and come up to your toes. Hold this position for a few seconds and then lower your heels back down. Repeat this exercise 10 times on the affected side. Single leg deadlifts on a balance pad. This exercise strengthens your core glutes and hamstrings while also improving balance and stability. Stand on a balance pad with your weight on one foot, hinge forward at the hips, lifting your back leg off the ground and reaching towards the floor with both hands. Keep your back straight and core engaged. Return to the starting position and repeat 10 times. This exercise requires a lot of balance and I recommend that you use a chair to help you keep your balance for safety. Sidestepping off the balance pad. This exercise improves lateral stability and strengthen the muscles on the sides of your hip, knee, and ankle. Stand on the balance pad with your feet hip width apart. Step sideways off the balance pad and one foot keeping the other foot on the pad. Then step back onto the pad with the same foot. Repeat 10 times on the affected side. Remember, if your ankle sprain is severe, you should seek medical attention immediately. Depending on the severity of the sprain, you may require surgery, a cast, or other treatments to properly heal. If you're not sure, err on the side of caution and get evaluated. In the meantime, there are a few things you should avoid doing if you have a minor ankle sprain. High impact activities like running, jumping, or playing sports should be avoided until your ankle is fully healed. You should also avoid wearing shoes with high heels or shoes that are too tight. These could further aggravate your injury. If you have an ankle sprain, remember the acronym RICE and take the steps to rest, ice, compress, and elevate the affected area. Seek medical attention if necessary and be sure to give your ankle enough time to heal. I know if you have watched this video, it will improve your health and change your life for the better. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.